Today I wanted to come out and to announce that I do have epilepsy. And the reason I wanted to announce it was, um, you know, going back to Martinsville in 2019, um, you know, I, I parked my truck at 7, 7.05, whatever it was, on the hill there, walked down into the, um, the pit area and the inside of the racetrack and, and was just pouring a cup of coffee. And that was, um, I was just talking and all of a sudden my tongue rolled down my throat. Like I could see the, my back of my eyes and all that. Like it was horrifying. And I thought for a few seconds there that I was going to die. Like I prayed in my head before I went down and passed out that, um, I, I just prayed for a second there to just be able to live. Like that's all it was at that point. I think the, the biggest part, um, going forwards has been, I've come out and said, I had another seizure in December, uh, that year. And that's all I've really talked about in it because it's been very hard to you know move on and, and kind of say the things about it. Um, but in January of 2020, I was diagnosed with epilepsy because after one, you don't really know what the deal is, but after two, um, it kind of becomes a frequent thing. So I was diagnosed with epilepsy, um, which means that I have basically an electrical firestorm in my head where basically it's it's like a Christmas tree. You have one light that goes out and they all kind of go out. It's the same thing of electrical patterns in your brain. So um, that's kind of where things have gone with it as far as knowing what's been happening. Um, I did a 10 day study in the uh, summer of 2020 that kind of tweeted out that. And that was about um, finding where it's coming from in my brain, where where is what's going on, what's happening. So as time has progressed, um, things have gotten better, which is great. But um, you know, in total to this date, I have had seven full um, seizures, the last being in November. You know, a lot of people ask me on Twitter and, and stuff about when am I gonna be back racing? And I've laughed off and kind of been sarcastic with a lot of those comments on there. But to be completely transparent, I've not driven a streetcar since, you know, October 26th of 2019. Like nothing has happened since then. That that study was able to give me ideas of what I needed to do differently, whether it's taking care of myself, um, medication, timing, changing my medicine. So luckily the last couple that have happened have been way better. And also they've been explainable of why things have happened. So I'm starting to get a grasp of it, but it's been tough. But the reason I wanted to announce it was I feel like for me, it's a big deal to accept it and put it out there because, you know, the brain tumor deal in 2016 was very hard to say, but at the same time, I knew it would help people. And this has been a long time coming of accepting and, and being terrified of it. And it's, it's horrifying to go through. Um, but, you know, one in 10 people um, will have a seizure in their lifetime. And so many millions of people um, have epilepsy in the United States, let alone the world. So I wanted to come out and say that, you know, I'm with with Fast Motorsports now. Getting to own this team um, has been amazing. But I am someone who lives with epilepsy. Hopefully it never happens again. You're never guaranteed anything with it. But, um, you know, at the same time, I wanted to go out and help people. And with that being said, um, with our number 78 card this year, I want to go ahead and make a donation to the Epilepsy Foundation for $7,800. Try to help out those people and uh, be an avenue for folks to be able to come to and, and really help people with the stigma of epilepsy and be able to give back to them.